Men, if you can't afford to date, don't date. I'm sorry if you got used and abused by some woman who just used you for a free meal, but that really just comes with part of the dating territory. Like, I get it, you're jaded, but what does that have to do with me? Like, I'm sorry, you need to use better discretion. That has nothing to do with, like, women in general. Don't penalize the next chick just because you took the wrong chick out to eat. And you know what? If you're just like, hey, I don't want to be spending this much money on dates, that's fine. Take a break from dating. Re-up your money. Go donate some plasma. Do whatever you got to do because I'm not about to go on some cheap date to like Applebee's or Fridays because you mad at the old chick who used you for a free meal. Use discernment. If you don't have it, pray for it. Modern women today expect you to be their court jesters. They expect you to perform for them by any means necessary. This performance is going to include free meals and entertainment, and they're going to be vocal as well as abrasive about what it is that they want. Yet, once that wall gets exceptionally real for them, they'll be the same ones complaining about where did all of the good men go? What I find so interesting about this particular clip though is that you want access to my resources to be able to date you, right? But your body, specifically the top of your mammary glands are on display for the entire world to see. So we live in a world of equality, but you want me to pay, which is much more of a traditional mindset, yet you out here living like a sexually liberated modern woman. Why am I going to pay for something that you're giving out to the world for free? Sometimes it just seems like these modern women today want the authority and the power of a man, but yet want the gifts and privileges of a traditional woman, yet still have the accountability of children. The modern woman today lives in a self-entitlement culture. They really expect for you to accept them in their truths and fit the bill irrespective of the way that they communicate, the way that they demonstrate themselves or their digital footprint. It's completely absurd. I will leave you all with this. There's these toxic modern women today that will show up with the cleavage out and their makeup on and expect you to treat them for their presence. So they're really just correlating dating and money. So I got a question for y'all. What really is the difference between that and sex work? I want my fiance to get rid of his five-year-old daughter. What? <laughs> Hello, relationship rules. Please keep me anonymous. I need some advice. My 32-year-old fiance has a five-year-old daughter. Her mother passed away when she was giving birth to her. He has been raising her ever since he lost his wife with the help of his family, of course. I am now in the picture and we're going to get married in 2023 and I'm six months pregnant with his son. I am not the stepmother type, so I know I won't treat his daughter the same way. I will treat our son, oh my God. To be quite honest, she annoys me. She looks exactly like her mother and she constantly reminds my fiance of his dead wife. And she is very attached to her daddy, which makes me afraid that my son will not be able to bond with his father because of her. Basically, I want to tell my fiance to get rid of her, she can live with his grandparents or we can find a nice couple that wants to adopt a child. How selfish of a human being do you have to be to want a child to grow up without their biological father who is active within her life? You are truly a evil person and I truly hope you get discovered and found out. And if anybody knows this guy in this particular situation, make sure that he sees this video so he can know the truth, because I guarantee you he's being tricked right now. He thinks, because of what she demonstrates to him, that she would fit in well within his kingdom, but she's faked it really well, and he doesn't know how terrible of a person that she actually is. She also demonstrates, like many modern women today, that she has no idea of the value of the benefit of having a father in a young person's life. Studies show that children that grow up with active fathers tend to have better physical health, have higher impulse control, therefore higher discipline, are better in social settings, perform better in school, have a less likely chance of getting locked up, all in all, have a better chance at a much more productive, successful, and happy life. Oh, and above all, are less likely to get on the pole. I like met him that night, got his number, he like went back to LA, and then the next time he was in Miami, he was like, come over to Future's house, like we're in the studio. So I go there pulling up because I'm like, I want to like they're in the studio. I want to like see him make music. I want to mm -hmm. show him my music. So I pull up there. What's it's that? at Future's house. And 
He literally just has me come in the studio and get butt ass naked and just like twerk in front of him and all his friends. Sounds about That's right. all he was like the second you walk through the door. Yeah, he says get naked. I was like, okay. He wasn't like, hi, can I get you a drink? No, like, how are you? Who cares? Okay. They like got me a drink, but he was like right. He was and working on his nice. album, Donda 2. So okay. like it was loud and I didn't want to be like, I just wanted to be in there like a fly on the wall. You know, mm -hmm. that's what I thought. <laughs> and, then the them, and then you were not a fly on the wall. No, I literally have you get naked and like twerk around. It's always so interesting when you hear women talk in groups like this, because you can always hear a slight tone of trying to blame the man. He didn't make you do anything, madame. He gave you the thought pocket challenge and you passed with flying collars and the nerve of you to think that he actually wanted to listen to your music. <laughs> but you played your role. You could have refused and went home, but you wanted to exercise your sexual liberation. The fact is, is that famous high status men have the ability to wipe the floor with most eights, nines, and tens. And truth be told, when the days get dark and the wall is coming, it becomes men ain't this or men ain't that or the slight undertone of it being the man's fault. Women like this think that because they're blessed with decent mammary glands and perhaps a fantastic makeup artist, that they deserve the MTV Cribs lifestyles or they deserve the listening ear. So then they become a groupie, not knowing that as mother nature gives, father time takes away. The wall is coming. Guys, the last clip that I have from you is actually a clip that's been going viral over the last several days. I mean, it's been going completely gangbuster, especially within this space right here. It's a young lady at a singles event and she pans over and she shows that there's no men at the singles mixer. Okay, we're going to go over right now because it was recently discovered that she was lying, that she was capping and capping hard. Okay. One of the talking points that I have within the channel as well as within the space is that the modern woman today is addicted, addicted to validation. It is more addicting to them more so than crack, codeine, perks, heroin combined. And this proves it. Let's go over the original clip first. Went to a singles mixer. Big copyright. All right. Went to a singles mixer and only women showed up. Okay. So you can see she pans over. It's only ladies there. All right. So this is another perspective that actually comes from one of the dudes that attended the event. Plenty of oh. men showed up for the- Copyright again. All right. Plenty of men showed up for this event. It's sad when you have to sell your soul for likes and views. Look at all the dudes that's at the event, all right? Look at all the dudes that's at the event, right? They had a fantastic turnout, all right? Beautiful women still there. I will say some of the women that's present in this one makes me want to figure out what city that this is in. Because, <laughs> you know, they got it. Look at it. We got all races that's down into the building as well. OK, you guys have to be very cognizant when you own these Internet streets to be careful of not only the information that you are receiving, but who you are receiving the information from, because at the end of the day, validation is a hell of a drug. All right. Crazy. Look at it. All races. And truth be told, you know how I knew it was just a little bit of cap. Because really, irrespective of all of the content that gets released over here or of what the things that modern men today are going through with modern women, you have a singles event, <laughs> right? You got a singles event with women. Most dudes are going to say, bump all that other shit. I want to go. I want to go see what's up. I want to go try my hand. You understand what I'm saying? So that's I knew it was a little bit of a degree of cat. But yeah. Take this for what you will, but at the end of the day, believe all women my ass, <laughs> okay? Guys, that's why I'm going to leave this compilation today. Hopefully, you enjoyed yourself. I know that I did. But leave me a comment down below if you agree or disagree with the things that I'm saying within this particular video. Last but not least, I got a Patreon. Best Patreon on the internet. If you want to be able to communicate with me as well as my inner circle on the back end, you know where to find me, and I'll see you soon, all right? Until next time. YouTube. Peace.